Hi, I'm Patricia Quinn, Magenta from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And check out Gruesome Herzog. Woo! Hello, everyone. This is Gruesome Herzog. My final, my opinion, the final film of the Omen trilogy is Omen 3, The Final Conflict in 1981. Here's the storyline. The now adult Antichrist plots to eliminate his future divine opponent while a cable of monks plot to stop him. Directed by Graham Baker. Written by David Seltzer, the characters, and Andrew Birkin. Released March 20th, 1981. Tagline, the power of evil is no longer in the hands of a child. Here's the cast. Sam Neill as Damien Thorne. Rosano Brazzi as DiCarlo. Don Gordon as Harvey Dean. Lisa Harrow as Kate Reynolds. Barnaby Holm as Peter Reynolds. Mason Adams as the President. Robert Arden as American Ambassador. Loeen Willoughby as Barbara Dean. Mark Boyle as Brothers Benito. Milos Karek as Brother Martin. Tommy Dugan as Brother Mathis. Louis Mahoney as Brother Palo. And Richard Oldfield as Brother Simeon. And Tony Vogel as Brother Antonio. Yes. You guessed it. Part 3, 1981. Now Damien's 32 years old. Played by Sam Neill. You might remember him later on in the Jurassic Park. Uh, fine performance by Sam Neill. Um, that being said, this film ended up being more of an action film, I guess. Um, there is some horror. But uh, now he's 32, and... Uh, meets with the president and does this thing and he becomes the ambassador and and also the ambassador of the boys club and blah, blah blah and he has plans to take over the world now amongst the way um there's a lot of deaths in this movie um if you count all the babies which thank god they didn't show um it's over 20 some basically you know every baby born on march 24th had to go and because he's the son of Satan. And uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but there's monks that are trying to kill him with the stakes that was used in the first and the second one. And uh, basically, it's a battle to try and kill him to save the world. Um, there's a lot of things going on in this film. I mean, I, I, found, it, I found it very interesting. Uh, not so much... A big fan of this one. I mean, it's all right, but again, I liked part one and part two. I mean, part three is good. Um, you know, he's a dog now, so you know. I mean, it's just he's creepy as always. Sam Neill was fantastic, by the way. I'll say it again; he was brilliant. A great, a great cast, a great story. All the way to the end, and the ending was pretty cool. There's also a scene in this movie that I thought was really weird and creepy. Is when he went to that cavern where it is and all those people are worshipping him and he said about killing the babies that was born on March 24th and there's actually kids there too and just really and then his speech about Jesus and the scene was like wow I mean it's like it takes a man to uh, do that part separate his beliefs to his acting because whew, crazy but anyways a great performance great cast great story, interesting story, I should say, and a unique ending, let's put it that way, and there is a Damien 4, came out in 91, which, as of right now, I'm not going to be reviewing it right now, um, I'm sticking with the 3 so far, so there you go, pretty, pre uh, a pretty cool film, Omen 3, The Final Conflict, this is Gruesome Herzog, I give his film a 6.5 out of 10. It's not bad, but I like the first two better. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.